What up YouTube, it's the RPG Machine 86 here doing a video response to my good friend CZS716 and his series that's awesome that you guys need to check out called Video Game Flashbacks. Alright, so I'm going to do a response to the first four video game flashbacks in one video. I told the guy I was going to do uh, a response earlier and dude, I'm sorry, I've just been fucking busy as shit. But here you go, here is my responses to f the first four videos you made, brother. Yeah! Alright, and his first video game flashback was, what is your favorite promotional item? Now, the one I got uh, wasn't something that everybody got with their game. Mine is when I bought my first GameCube. When I bought it when it was new. Um, the game I really wanted was Resident Evil, the remake of Resident Evil for the GameCube, and I bought it, and the guy was like, well, do you want this, because we're just going to throw it away, and I said, hells yeah, and that is this. It is a standee, as you can see, you can put this thing down in the back and it'll stand up, but it's a standee of, uh, uh, the camera's going to, or the light's going to fuck with me on this, guys, but, uh, as you can see, it's a standee for Resident Evil for the GameCube. And, uh, I don't know, it's about, about 10 inches, maybe, maybe close to a foot tall. It's really cool. I've had it for, for years. And, uh, there's a little stand. Uh, I normally just leave it hanging up on the wall back here. But, uh, yeah, this is my favorite thing that I got as a promotional type, uh, deal. So... It's pretty awesome. All right, and now his second video game flashback video, which in the description there's going to be a link to each one of these videos and his channel, so definitely check him out. CZS716, he's my boy. Treat him good. Number two is, what was your first ex encounter with a video game? And this one is is easy. I walk in. Oh, okay. Set set the the uh, scene up here. I'm in my grandparents' trailer. I'm about three or four years old. I remember walking into my uncle's bedroom and he was playing Nintendo. Now I'd never seen a Nintendo, never seen a video game. I loved cartoons at the time and when I looked at the screen all I could, I just thought it was a cartoon and I asked, I asked him what the cartoon was and he said it's not a cartoon, it's a game, I'm playing a game, it's a Nintendo and this is Mario Brothers. And I was just enthralled, like I could not take my eyes away from the screen. It was one of those moments in your life where you're just like, yep, that's me. That is part of me. That is part of what I want to be. <laughs> so, I'll never forget it. It was an awesome, awesome thing. Just totally changed me forever. I got a Nintendo like a year or so after that, and it was on since then. Video game flashbacks number three is your favorite gaming childhood memory. Oh, this one's gonna be hard, but uh... One, one honestly, this is the first one that came to mind, so it's it's just, it's what I'm gonna throw out there. I don't know if it's my favorite gaming memory, but I'll never forget uh, the day I beat Donkey Kong Country 2. Because where I'm from, in the northeast part of America, it snows like a motherfucker in winter, right? So, it used to snow a lot, and I had a friend whose mom had to go to work before school would start on uh, days that we were, uh, like, had a two-hour delay because of the snow. I don't know how many people have those, but in where I'm from, you'd have two-hour delays when the snow was too bad sometimes, and they would have to plow the roads, and then they'd send your buses out. Um, so his mom had to go to work before we started school so she would drop him off at my house and for those couple hours we would play Donkey Kong Country 2 and when we weren't at school that's all we did too and I'll never forget the day that we were on the last level and it was there was about 45 minutes before the bus was about what's going to come to my house and we beat that last level went to the boss uh, King K. Rule or Captain K. Rule or whatever he is in that one and uh we started fighting him, and it was just like one of those things where like the time just slowed down completely, and everything around you didn't matter. You were just in the zone in that moment, fighting K. Rule, and I finally beat him. And, and my mom says, the bus is outside. 
we had to run outside before I got to see the ending. It was one of the most heartbreaking things that ever happened to me as a kid. But I did go home later that day, beat it, and got the ending, and it was all good. But that was definitely an awesome moment, so there you go. Not sure if it was my favorite, but it'll work. And his video game flashback number four. Number four is what was your first encounter with a reseller. And uh, Randy Jellian's in this. What's up, brother? Good friend of mine, too. Um, anyway, first encounter with a reseller. I don't know what my first encounter with a reseller is, but I'll tell you about one that was really bad. My favorite Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6. It was released on the Super Nintendo here as Final Fantasy 3, but it's Final Fantasy 6 in Japan, I guess. I don't know. That shit... All I know is about what like what was here in Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo is my favorite Final Fantasy. It's awesome. If you haven't played it, go play it. It's the best Final Fantasy. That being said, I was at the flea market probably about two months ago. And a dude had Final Fantasy 3. Now, that being said, the cart, the label was in, was great. There was, there wasn't even dividend, dividend, dividends, or dents, or, uh, I don't know. They, like, the label was awesome. But the cart was filthy fucking dirty. Like, so filthy dirty to the point that, like, I was afraid of it not working, right? So I hold the cart up. I say, how much is this? The dude is a ruthless reseller, and I barely buy from him. I'm, th I'm thinking since it's dirty, he might give me a deal, you know? He says 70 bucks. $70. Now, granted, I don't have a card to show you guys, but this thing was dirty. It looked like someone stuck it in mud and thought that was the Super Nintendo or something. It was filthy fucking dirty. And I just laughed and put it back and he was like, whoa, what's so funny? And I'm like, well, you're charging $70 for a game that normally goes for about 30 and it's covered in dirt. And he's like, well, what would you give me for it? And I was like, I was thinking like 10 bucks, man, 15 tops. And he was like, just get out of here. That guy will never have my business ever again. I've only bought a couple of like $2 NES carts off of him, but man, fuck that guy. Fuck resellers all together. They all suck. Yep. And one more time, I just gotta tell you guys, please check out my boy CZS716. He's awesome. Like I said, link down below. Check him out. Sub him. He deserves more subs. He's an awesome dude. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!